um, most of the people or people want evidence to believe in Jesus Christ. Thomas was one of them. He wanted evidence to believe in Jesus Christ. And Jesus answered him and told him, blessed are those who do not see and yet have believed. Could you elaborate on the people who come to Christ through evidence and then the final beatitude of Jesus Christ is blessed are those who do not see and yet believe. Okay. Uh, you know, what is, yeah. what is the blessedness in those who have not seen and yet believed? And, All right, and make how that do we understand this passage where Thomas refuses to believe, so Jesus appears to Thomas uh, and says, don't be doubting. Put forth your finger and feel my wounds. Put your, forth your hand and feel my side. And Thomas doesn't do it then. He just falls on the floor and says, my Lord and my God. And Jesus then says, do you believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Is this somehow depreciating the value of evidence and saying that, it's better to believe by blind faith without evidence. I don't think that that's a proper understanding of the passage. What Thomas refused to do was to believe the apostolic testimony to the resurrection of Jesus. The other apostles had said to him, we have seen the Lord. And Thomas refused to believe the apostolic witness to Jesus, but demanded that he himself be able to see the risen Lord. And I think what Jesus is saying, blessed are those who do believe the apostolic witness, but aren't demanding that I appear to them at every generation in history, to every individual who's ever born, but rather they believe on the basis of the eyewitness testimony that the apostles gave. And so that's why after that blessing on Thomas, it goes on to say, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. So John is emphasizing the sufficiency of the apostolic testimony that he delivers to the resurrection of Jesus, which Thomas doubted wrongfully, and we shouldn't be like Thomas. We should not demand that Jesus appear to me in my bedroom, uh, but that we should believe the apostolic eyewitness testimony to this event. 